Okay, so just to clarify, when we said that the semigroup is bounded if w is equal to zero, all these uh, um, these conditions that we're given are for um, the w and the m of this theorem. Of us, if we have a C zero semigroup, then the norm of T T is bounded by this. Okay, so that's from where these uh, conditions come from. Okay, so recall the definition of uh, infinitesimal generator of T, okay, that is TTA, that was given by, by AF is the limit when T goes to zero plus of ATF, that is the limit when T goes to zero plus of TTF minus F over T, okay? So what's here? Um, let uh, TT be a uh, C0 semigroup generated by A. Okay, so then the following hold. First, for each AF in the domain of A, we have that T, T F belongs to the domain of A, okay? And A T T F is equal to T T A F is for all T greater or equal than zero. And second, we have that for each F in the domain of A and TTF in the domain of A, then DDT of TTF is equal to A T T F this is equal to T T A F okay like we said here now we add this okay okay so the proof of the first let uh, F be in the domain of A and we fix um t greater than zero, okay? Then we will have for s greater than zero, um, and let's say a s, we will use it as uh, as the definition of uh, of the generator of a semigroup. So a s will be what we called here. A T, okay. We will have this, but here we have an F. We will have to change F by, um, well, in this case we have here uh, T T F or A T T F. So instead of F, we will have a T T F. But it will be just the same, and we will use also, um, well, the semigroup property. That is that T of S, T, um, T of S, T of T is equal to T of T, T of S, and both of them are equal to T of S plus T. Okay, so, as I said, if we have A of AS, TTF, in the definition of AS, we had only F, but now we will have to add the TT, so this will be equal to TS, we add the TT, T is fixed, F minus TT, F, okay, and all of this over S. 
okay so this is also the same as if we change this by this so tt ts f minus tt f and over s okay and both of them will be equal to taking away the tt multiply by ts f minus f over s okay and uh, you may recognize this as a s so if we take the limit limit when s goes to zero plus like in the definition okay then uh, this will go as s go to zero plus this will uh, go to um, tt af okay so this is possible because we had uh, as a condition that f was in the domain of a and tt is uh, continuous as we already saw in the next space x so if f is in the domain of a this can be done if one can do a f f and however it is continuous when we take the limit this will be equal to the limit of this so we have that uh, the limit when s goes to zero plus of a s t t f is equal to um, t t a f okay and so we are already seeing here because of this that this is equal also to um, a t big t small t f okay this is one of the things that we wanted to see so and also we would make a of this we will have a a result that is this one so we know that uh, the other thing we wanted to see is that tt of f is in the domain of a okay so now the second thing that we want to see is that for each f in the domain of a and ttf in the domain of a okay um then the ddt ttf is equal to a ttf and well it's the same than TTAF. Let's see that. Okay now for the second we have F in the domain of A and we have H written in zero so we consider the right hand limit limit when H to zero plus of uh, T T plus H F minus T T F over h okay it will be equal to well by the semi-group property we will have that this is tt multiplied by th f minus tt f over h okay and this is equal to the limit when h goes to zero plus of um well th minus the identity over h and we'll take out the tt's and the f's outside ttf and so um so going back to the infinitesimal generator definition we arrive to this we can take the f out and have an identity and use that this is a f when t goes to zero plus so this is actually a t oh. a t t f which we already know this is t t a f okay
This is because of what uh, we already saw. Okay, my one. Okay, so what about the other limit? Well, we can consider the limit of uh, h0 plus, but now when is tt minus h of f minus ttf all over h, and we will use what we used already that is to consider um, well, we will leave this one like it is, but the next one we will add a plus h and a minus h, f, okay, and now we will separate that and we will have a tt minus h, f, and now we will have a minus tt minus h, th, f, okay, semi-group property, h, and now we can say that this is the limit when h goes to 0 plus of, um, well, like we did here, but now we will have i minus th, okay, over h, and in the outside we will have uh, t, t minus h, f, okay. And that, once again, will be a TTF. Okay, so a theorem that I'll prove in the next video. So, once again, we have a let a TT be a semigroup, Z0 semigroup, okay, generated by a then the following hold okay first for each f in x we will have that the limit when h goes to zero one over h of the integral of t t plus h of t s f ds is equal to ttf okay second for each f next we have that uh, integral 0 t of ts of ds is in the domain of a okay and a of the integral 0 t ts um, f ts is equal to so a of this which is in the domain will be equal to tt minus f tt of f minus f and finally the third is that for each f in the A, TT, F, minus T, S, F, will be equal to the um, integral between S and T of T, tau, A, F, D, tau, will be equal to the integral of F of s between s and t of a t tau um f d tau okay okay so these are three uh, properties of a c0 semigroup generated by a and okay so in the next uh, video i will uh we will show the proofs of uh, these uh three properties.